Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Shawifa and today I'm doing a tutorial on how to make the pattern of this underbust corset. Let's just jump right into the video. Okay, so first you're gonna need measurements. You're gonna need your waist measurement. So my measurement is 26 inches. And I'm going to divide that by 2, giving me a 13. And I'm going to add 5 inches to the 13, which would give me 18 inches. The reason I'm adding 5 inch is because I'm going to divide the panels into 5. So I'm going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And each one has to have 1 inch seam allowance. And that's why I'm adding 5 inch seam allowance. So... Next, you are going to need your center front length. What I mean is the length in the middle. So how long you want your corset to be. So it can be from the middle of in between your breast to your navel or below your navel, anyhow you want it. I chose to have it 7.5. I add one inch seam allowance and that gives me 8.5. And then you're going to need your center back length, which is a short part. So the length of the back mine is five i added one inch so making it six so now we're going to take some paper some white paper black paper whatever paper you want and we're going to draw a, a, a waistline and then the center front line as well and we are going to measure our 18 inches so that's our waist measurement divided by two plus five so i mark that and I'm going to divide that by two. This is a way that I used to divide my stuff. It's really easy. Instead of going to the calculator, I just, you know, do that. And that was nine inches. But because I'm going to divide the front into three and the back into two, I am going to add an extra one inch to that nine inches. So instead of marking nine, I'm going to mark 10 inches. And so I'm just going to draw a straight line from that. And that's going to be my side seam. So that is done. We have the back, we have the front. And I'm now going to take my center front measurements, divide that by two, put that on the waistline and measure at the top and then at the bottom. And now what we're going to do the same for the side. It's going to be three up, three down. This will change a bit, but it's fine. I just It just gives you an idea of which where you, the range you're going to work. And then just me drawing the center back line and we're going to divide the back into two. You're just dividing the panels into two. And that will be it for the back mostly. And for the front, the down part, you are going to just, you know, draw this kind of curve. Three hundred. I it took a little bit of tries to get the shape that I want, so you just have to play around with it and see which one you like and see. And then for the top part, I'm just gonna measure one inch from the center front, and I'm also going to freestyle this. So you just have to go with the flow. Just just has to look like that. It doesn't have to be perfect when you're sewing you can correct it if you don't like it so from the side i just measured uh 2.5 away so that line you see over there and so yeah that is it and we're gonna connect those you see that it's different it's not on the the lines that i i measured earlier and that is fine as i mentioned earlier that it's going to change a bit but it's totally fine so we're just joining the back and so basically we're done we just have to divide the front into three and this one too i am going to freestyle it <laughs> i but i think i do a little freestyling i don't like to do precise measurements i do it when it's necessary but if it's not i just freestyle it so i'm just gonna have divide that into three and those are those lines are gonna be where my boning is going to be so somehow you have to eyeball it and make sure that that line is perpendicular to that line and so that's it yeah so 
So I just realized that that one is too small, the front piece is too small. So I'm just going to extend it a bit, make it just a bit larger. Yeah, that's perfect. And that's it for the pattern. We are now going to uh, do some sort of dart. So shape the waist, bring the waist in a bit so that you get that curve. And so I'm just measuring 0 0.75 inches and doing some sort of a dart just to shape, you know, snatch, give it a snatch waist. And so, yeah, what else? We're just going to cut, 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 and we're done. So I label it. If, if you are a beginner, you have to label it. That way it becomes easy for you to, when you're putting it together, because there are so many pieces now, that's five. And if you don't label it, you might get confused when you're adding it. But for me, if, if you can see, why not? So yeah, I just cut, 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 cut. So that's basically it for the video in my next video i'm gonna show how you cut it you sew it what you need and different ways different ways to style it maybe maybe so see you in your next my next video thank you for watching bye, -bye. don't forget to subscribe